we are asked all the time about our Nicholas Daily timing model. What is it? How does it work? What is its performance last week, last month, last year, last five years, last 10 years? What would I make if I followed it? What's it all about? Can I buy it? And how do I get access to it? We're making this video for everyone who is following us and for our members. Today is December 6th, 2020, and I'm Don Marshall, founder with my wife Susan of Stock Market Caddy, and we are going to answer those questions and more in hopefully the next 10 minutes on YouTube on the Nicholas timing model. You might want to set your YouTube video in high definition to get the best picture possible. Let me say this up front. We are not a broker. We are not financial advisors. We are not suggesting or recommending that anyone make any kind of a trade on any security at all. Please understand that. We are a mentoring site, basically a private club where like-minded traders can come together and learn from each other in trading primarily in a mechanical and a logical fashion. The Nicholas timing model is not for sale. The Nicholas timing model is just one very sophisticated strategy in a basket or in a garage full of sophisticated strategies and indicators that we make available to our members. Some of our members are what we call monthly members and they get to see a representation of these models every night in a video. Our annual members actually have these files sent to them and they're able to manipulate the data and the performance reports that we're about to show you in any fashion they so choose. The idea in the concept here is that Stock Market Caddy is a place for like-minded people to come together and to learn. And we learn hopefully as much from our members as they learn from us. And that no one indicator, no one strategy is going to represent what we would call the Holy Grail. We hope that some of these tools will fit in your style, your style of trading and help you navigate the uncertainty and the volatility of these markets. The Nicholas timing model that you're looking at now, just to give an update, is trading futures contracts and it has been long since November 3rd. And this is how much it would be up. But what you want to know and what we want to show is a historical perspective on what Nicholas would have done over the last 10 years. Now please understand we did not have Nicholas developed 10 years ago. We have been running Nicholas over the last handful of years and as long as the model continues to perform we will continue to use it as a part of our overall trading strategy. But we are not recommending anyone follow Nicholas blindly. We are not recommending anyone join Stock Market Caddy purely to get access to Nicholas. We think that um, we offer much, much more. But let us show you and explain to you what Nicholas is and what it's done for each market over the last 10 years. Thank you. Okay, this is the S&P 500 futures contract, the continuous contract at ES. This is a representation 
of Nicholas. Why do I say a representation? Nicholas does not use Bollinger Bands or the moving average in the Bollinger Band. It doesn't use any of that. It's running an algo behind the scenes. And let me show you, or give you a glimpse of that algo. It takes in this chart and all the charts that we're going to show you next take in three data streams. A data stream of the underlying indice, data stream number two of the VIX, and data three of the 10-year bond. Those data streams are evaluated by an algo that we have written that is called Nicholas. And from there, Nicholas will make a decision to buy or sell the market and it'll do so on a daily basis. What, I, what do I mean by that? The signal, the decision, will come in at 5 p.m. on any given day. And from there, we get a model of what Nicholas is doing. Now, we developed Nicholas a handful of years ago because we thought we saw a relationship between the markets, the volatility index, and the 10-year bond. We back tested it, we forward tested it, and it showed us that it held promise. And fortunately, since we've been running it, it has done a very fine job. And we use this in conjunction with everything else that we do, and we have members that do as well. Not everybody trades the Nicholas, some folks may use it as a barometer. Now, what I want to show you is each market, we have taken it back 10 years, more than 10 years. We've taken it back to January 1 of 2009. Why? We have had folks say, well, any strategy in the past year would have produced or any strategy in the past two years would have produced because the market has been one directional and it has. Nicholas, by the way, goes long and goes short. So we wanted to take Nicholas back to the scene of the crime, back at the bottom of the market in 2009 when QE was launched. And in large part, we think the volatility index was targeted. You should know we took Nicholas back to 2000. And between 2000 and 2009, Nicholas did not do well. He did not. It was a much different market between 2000 and 2009. And we would say, and our conclusion is, that that market is not relevant to the market we're in right now. But since 2009, we're going to show you the trading characteristics of Nicholas. But please understand again, markets are unpredictable. Futures are leveraged. At some point, Nicholas will begin not to perform because we constantly monitor Nicholas ourselves and our annual members are able to do that themselves. And when the model begins to cease performing, we'll make adjustments. And from there, maybe there's a Nicholas Jr. or some other strategy. But for the moment, for the market we're in, it has done fine and let us show you. We come here to the performance report. I'm going to do this for each market. By the way, hold on one second. Let's come back here and take you into the setting characteristics, the properties for all tab. We are assuming $3 a commission. Commission is actually $250. We are assuming an, an initial investment of $10,000, which would have been ample in 2009 to trade a futures contract. Interest, we are assuming at zero. In slippage, we are also assuming zero, little to no slippage. And we think that pretty much balances out. And we're trading just one mini, mini contract. And this will be the same for all of the four markets, including the VIX. We're now going to look at the, the performance report. And we, again, we could spend hours doing this. So we're going to try to net this out. Over this period, the total net profit 
$159,562. We'll let you look at the performance characteristics here, and they're all important. Our eyes, though, are always brought to here. The return on initial capital over this period is 1,595%, an annual rate of return of 24%. What would the annual or the initial capital if we had just bought the market and held it, the $10,000, would have been just, just, would have been fine, but 541%. Big, big difference. Let's show you a performance chart. This is 09. This is 2011. This is 2013. So you can see for nearly three, three, four years, Nicholas didn't do a whole lot on the S&P. And then it has ramped. By the way, this was a short trade. These trades are short and long. If you wanted to see Nicholas on just a long basis, we can, well, we can bring you back if you want to call this data out, if you just went long, you could just come here and just add up that money, the one, the 149. We'll have a total for you in a moment. Let's go to, again, we're gonna be short, we're gonna run over on YouTube time, so hopefully they'll um, let us publish this. So we're going to move rather quickly and just show you the data. This is the NASDAQ over this period, 234,000. Let's scroll down and look at the return on initial capital. 2,342% annual rate of return, 27. The buy and hold, 909 as a comparison view. Here is the equity curve. Let's go to the YM. Here's the equity curve first for the YM. This is the Dow. We'll give you the performance report. 169 profit factor. Let's come down. We want the return on initial capital, 1,600, almost 1,700%. Buy and hold, 534%. The beauty of leverage. Let's come here to the Russell. We'll come here to the performance report. Again, there we could spend hours delving into this. We don't have that kind of luxury with YouTube. The we want um, the return on initial capital. Six hundred and sixty-eight percent annual rate of return. And the buy and hold would have returned as a comparison 506%. We now come to the VIX itself. And we come here. The VIX returned. And you can see it really didn't pay to be buying the VIX. Paid more to be shorting the VIX. Very risky though in and of itself. But that's for another time, another subject. 56,000, here is the data, and return on initial capital. Buy and hold would have actually lost considerably if you were buying, trying to buy and hold. And that, folks, is the overall performance report of Nicholas. We ran to 15 minutes. There is much, much more information here. The important takeaway here, we are not, please, we are not promoting Nicholas as some sort of means of doubling or tripling one's retirement account. We are not money managers. We are not a mutual fund. We are not making that type of recommenda recommendation and we are not putting these tools forward for that expectation. These tools are, Nicholas is just one tool of many tools that we make available to our members 
who are active traders in their own right for a portion of their net worth. If you have any questions at all and want to know more about who we are and who we are not, we invite you to visit stockmarketcaddy.com. We invite you to explore the website. You can send us an email. Happy to chat with you and or if you'd like to give me a call at 813-758-8263. By the way, you can add up the numbers yourselves. If you had taken every signal, you know, on Nicholas, if you're looking for what would the return have been, the total return over that 10-year period would have been 691,764 long and short. If it was just long, it naturally would have done best at 678,912. The fact that it could go short acts as a hedge and helps to try to keep us balanced in this market. Feel free to give us a call. We wish you the best. Thanks.